Hey everybody, I'm back with you again uh, for the third and final installment of how night vision actually looks in, I guess, real world circumstances. And tonight we have a 98% moon and perfectly clear skies. This is the same PVS-14 I've been using for this series. It's a little over 2500 uh, photocathode response. We're looking through a demist shield and a lift filter. The SNR is 35.7. The EBI is 0 0.5. And our resolution is 72 line pair. We have a halo of 0 0.7. And I've cranked our gain up 100% for the sake of this uh, video here. And you can see this 100% moon, or 98% moon. And the reason I filmed this at 98% illumination instead of waiting for the full moon is we're supposed to have some clouds roll in tomorrow and I didn't want to risk, um, I don't know, ruining, if you will, the chance to film it with high illumination. And I've tried to film from the same location each time so that you can get a feel for things. Like I say, this is an L3 filmless tube. It's about the best you can get as far as architecture. Um, it's not completely filmless. That's a misnomer. It's lacking only one of the components uh, in the film coating. And I'm not a chemist, nor do I design or build these, so I... I would have to Google up and tell you exactly what, but uh, it's not truly filmless. It's um, less film. If you want to be, you know, want to kind of word that differently and be more accurate. Um, but like I say, this is going to gather about the most light you're going to get uh, in the, when it gets really dark. There's our driveway. You can clearly make out all the details on it. under dense canopy there. Night vision has a very, let's say, shallow depth of focus. So some of our nearer items are a little bit out of focus because I have it set for infinity, or the stars really, which is just off the infinity stop. Our camera's having some fun, there we go. This full moon is very bright. I could probably navigate a uh, open field without needing to use night vision, perhaps. Anyway, this is the kind of environment that makes a mediocre night vision system look pretty darn good. And a good one look absolutely amazing. You can see my dog very clearly out there in the field. And there's been some fireflies um, throughout the video. <laughs> anyway, I hope I I hope I've been able to give you a um, more. Uh, well-rounded take on how night vision actually does under different circumstances, different illumination levels, and that you now kind of know what to expect. Um, it's not seeing in the dark. It's amplifying all of the available light to allow you to better see. It's not magic, but it's pretty darn close. And I hope I've been able to give you a little bit better appreciation for how different conditions are going to affect things. You really see the fireflies or lightning bugs in this video, by the way. I, I love the little creatures. They're, they're neat. Someone on uh, AR15.com actually crested some lightning bugs. So if they're watching, you're welcome.
But there you go, that's a pretty high spec L3 filmless tube in pretty bright conditions, really.